right, let's create a Meta Add Insights agent in N8N. New flow, let's name it Meta Add Insights agent. And adding our first step as a chat trigger. And let's move this over here. And of course, we add our AI agent that's gonna analyze the meta ads. And then we need to add a chat model. So let's pick up open AI. I'll change this to 4.1, not the mini, because it's gonna look at a lot of data and content, so we needed to do some reasoning. I might even want to do O3. Let's do O3. It's smarter. Thinks longer, but is able to analyze and reason over a lot of data. So, click that one. And so that's there. Let's add just the simple memory for now. And so now we need to connect this to our meta account we need to get some keys first um, we need to get an agentic dtc.sh uh, credential so in order to do that let's first create an mcp client called dtc.sh creds mcp because we don't have credentials right now um, HTTPS MCP dot DTC dot SH slash creds slash SSE server transport is server side uh, server side events no authentication because we're trying to get authentication and in this case uh, generate brand credentials and let's Save this. So now we're going to try to get um, credentials for our brand. Let's open this up and say, I need dc.sh credentials. So it needs email address, display name of the brand. So let's say brand name is glenn.io, email follow-up. Send that. So now it's gonna create a dtc.sh credential for us. Good, so we got our credential here. The next thing we need is um, our meta access token. In order to do that, we're gonna go to a.gentic.dev slash meta. So this is the agentic analytics, meta insights analytics uh, app. So we gotta install that and get our access token. It's just gonna ask us to connect to our meta and then give us an access token here, which is uh, what we need now to get um, meta insights. So, and what I need now is to get and add this token to the new DTCSH credentials that I just created. So let's go take a look at the available tools here. So add meta credentials is one of the tools. So let's select that. Now let's ask our agent here, um, add my meta access token to my brand credentials. So access token is 
this long thing and then brand credential is this. So now I should wait for it to create. Yes, your meta access has been saved. I'm linked. Great. Now we can add another MCP server connection to our meta HTTPS mcp.ppc.sh slash meta slash SSE. And for this one, we need authentication. Um, header off and create new credentials. Let's call it to collabs and IO uh, dpc.sh credentials. And here we put in, in the name x dash API dash key. And for the value, we're just gonna add our brand credentials that we copy pasted. So this is gonna now allow us to uh, connect to the DTC SH MCP server. And let's take a look at the tools available now. Check this out, get meta insights, fetch meta app creatives, get meta IDs, fetch meta insights. So now um, let's save this. Now let's name this dtc.sh meta insights MCP server so that we know the difference between these two. Saved. So now um, we need to get account IDs. Let's ask, uh, what are the, well, wait, we need to um, give our agent some instructions. And for that, um, system message needs to be, let's do add option, system message. So this is gonna be system prompt. Um, so, you are an AI marketing analyst. Um, and I also added some best practices um, in here in the system instructions. So system prompt is basically just telling our agent that it needs to um, do a meta insights analysis by using the MCP tools. And um, every time I build a new agent that needs to do stuff, I do a little bit research and then uh, like what, what's good, which numbers are good and give it some kind of like instructions uh, about like the job that it's doing. Um, in this case, it's, you know, like industry benchmarks about what's a good performance for an ad for different industries. So let's save that one and then go here, close that one out and ask um, what are my ad accounts. So first we need to get our ad account IDs and find the campaigns, ad sets, and ads, and ad creatives inside those ad accounts. So now it's hitting my um, meta account. And uh, so like we get one account number, let's say campaigns and uh, Account ID. Well, we don't need this, we just need the number. Let's see. So now it's going to check the campaigns. You see, it's going to hit the Meta Insights MCP server. It's doing it. And that's going to return some results. And hopefully, it's going to be a bunch of campaigns. So now you can see a bunch of campaign IDs. So let's see. Um, pick up one campaign and say ad sets in campaign. So now it keeps digging deeper into our campaigns and ad sets. Okay, so we have one ad set um, with the ads in now 
keep digging into the ads in this ad set. Okay, so we have two ads. And then uh, let's, let's do insights analysis for these two ads. Let's see what it does. Okay, check it out. So it's looking at the stats, uh, making some comparisons for both of these compared to industry benchmarks. And it didn't convert because I guess it wasn't set up for conversion. And uh, it's giving kind of like stats based. But if we wanted to look at creatives, let's look at the creatives in these ads so that it's now going to dig deeper into the ads and get creative IDs that are used and then pull up the creatives for these ads. And um, that way we can potentially do analysis on what kind of creatives and copy and hook and titles and descriptions um, might be producing better performance and just run experiments on those based on those results. You see it's having to do multiple calls. Four times so far it called uh, uh, inside server because it's calling for each ad. Um, now I asked it to get the creatives for the specific creative ID here uh, for this ad. And you can see here the results that it's returning. Uh, this is the call that it's making to the MCP server for these fields. And this is the result that comes back. And now O3 is doing its analysis. Okay, so it's doing um, some creative analysis on this. And uh, so you can imagine how um, you can get ad performance analysis, match it up with creatives, and um, at the same time run it at scale uh, by being able to match various creative hooks to performance and then have the AI do analysis so that you can do more informed um, meta ad testing. But what did we learn here? Uh, we learned how to build a meta ad insights AI agent. Uh, we came into N8N, created our uh, chat trigger AI agent component, and we added our open AI chat model, added a simple memory, got our uh, brand credentials from ttc.sh uh, credentials MCP. And then once, uh, and then we went to um, Facebook uh, Meta app to get our um, access token for our Facebook account, attach that access token to our DTC.sh credentials. Then using that, we use the DTC.sh Meta Insights MCP server that gave us um, fetch meta ad creatives, get meta IDs, fetch meta insights as MCP tools. And then we connected that to OpenAI's O3 reasoning model for it to look at the data and do um, data analysis as well as creative analysis. Uh, hope this was helpful.